Hi, it's me Kavantu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the popular open source Marlin firmware on an ANET A8 3D printer. While all of my earlier adaptions were either done on the printer itself, like swapping two wires of a motor to turn it in the other direction or moving an end stop, or in a slicer software, like compensating print offsets. I've never done any adaption on a controller software itself, although adaptions there would have allowed both. The main problem is that some companies like ANET do not publish the source code of the firmware, but deliver pre-programmed controllers, with no way of adaption. Anyways, it is possible to upgrade the controller's firmware, and I'm going to show you how. The first step is to download and install the Arduino IDE, where the latest version is to prefer. As I already have it installed, I'm going to skip this step. Moving over to GitHub, I download the 1.1.x branch of Marlin via the clone or download button, and do the same with the ANET board definitions by Skynet 3D. After both files are downloaded, it's time to unzip them. Then the hardware folder gets dragged inside the Arduino folder in the document space to install the board. An example configurations folder that also contains an entry for the ANET A8 3D printer can be found within the Marlin folder of the second repository. Both files are copied and pasted into the main folder, overwriting both the original configuration and configuration underscore AVR files. Then browse for the Marlin.ino file and double click it to open. After the Arduino IDE starts up, check the available boards. As the board definitions have been put into the hardware folder, there should be an option to choose the ANET version 1.0 main board. I just took the normal one, as I didn't want to flash the bootloader, and proceeded with it. Then switch on the printer and connect it to the PC via an USB cable. Windows should now recognize this board and automatically install necessary drivers. To find the COM interface where the printer connects to, open up the Windows Device Manager and choose the same COM interface in the Arduino IDE. Finally, it's time to upload the whole thing to the printer. It seems to freeze during the transmission of the new firmware and should restart on finish. Although the software is successfully upgraded, we are not done yet, as there are some things to do left. In Cura, I removed the G-code offset compensations I set in a video before to make the print start in the center. But as expected, the printer doesn't really know where the center is. Luckily, this can be fixed relatively easily by editing the minimum positions in the configuration.h file. And the way to the correct values requires only a three-line G-code file and something to measure. It's actually the same things I did with the G-codes before, but instead of writing the G92s, I can deduct the values directly here. After three iterations, I found the perfect center point. Furthermore, it's also very easy to change the displayed name of the printer, found in the version.h file. If at any point the Arduino IDE isn't able to upload the compiled firmware and there are no errors with the code files, try unplugging and replugging the printer's USB cable, which helped in my case. Anyways, I think it's time to conclude this video. I've only scratched the surface of what's possible with a fully open source 3D printer software. And while I've covered all the necessary steps to get started, you're free to try out other options. By the way, all links can be found down in the video description. Make sure to check them out. Thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a nice day!